Okay, everything's been primed now, as you can see. And this uh, priming is actually quite crucial, especially when you're painting with, um, with acrylics. Uh, because this thing has to be masked for the splinter pattern with uh, with tape and if your priming coat isn't good you'll rip off your whole layer of paint and that's uh, a waste so let's get on to painting okay I'm going to start off uh, with um, the dark yellow uh, coat and that's officially supposed to be RAL 7028 I believe but there are apparently different versions of that color apparently the uh, the 1944 version of that color was darker than the 1943 version not everything is quite clear about that color so I'm just going to use this Tan Earth from Vallejo And the later colors, uh, the, the the dark green and the cream, I'll be spraying those. But this base coat, I'm just gonna take like the old hairbrush approach for that. Okay, everything's been base coated in yellow, and now it's mainly masking of uh, the main missile. And as for the launching platform, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. It's really not very worthwhile. It's also a very old kit. It's like way older than the uh, Tacom or the Ravel kit of the uh, V2. Now, unfortunately, these drawings are not to scale. So I just have to use this as a as a guide. Okay. Zam! And like one second later it's done. But it's uh, ready for spray painting now. Okay, so now for some airbrush work. Oh. I think we can work with this. Oh, this looks about okay. And now I have to remove all that tape again for the cream layer. And now remask it. <laughs> okay, everything's been masked again for the last color. And as you can see I recycled some tape from the from the first session. Okay, I'm going to mix the cream color uh, with the uh, Vallejo Air. Yeah, I think this looks uh, convincing. The launching platform here. I'm going to wash it a bit with uh, this uh, Citadel's Nuln oil is very handy for just about anything. You can't go far wrong with Nuln oil for nice contrast and stuff. And as I pointed out earlier, this um, launching platform isn't 
yeah that well detailed it's pretty rough so I'm going to use a slightly different style of yeah painting weathering washing on this thing than that I normally would the painting style that I will use uh, like on gaming miniatures and stuff so just throw in a, a lot of high contrast and then a couple of highlights here and there some weathering for example this ring should actually have a, a linked uh, chain um, ratchet around it but it's just like a plain ring on this uh, on this kit so yeah if you would look like and look at every little detail uh, of this thing then I'd rather accentuate a little bit of the detail that's there than try uh, keeping everything uh, more subtle I think a lot of the, the sparse detail would get lost even more and it would stay a bit bland so I'm just going to put some really heavy contrast in there this 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 black null oil wash or rather it's not really deep black it's this yeah it's 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 it looks very oily it's I like it a lot it it fits in with anything it you can like see it as a as a grime as a dirt as oil it's just dark enough to give a nice contrast it's like not too stark like this other nice color maybe I will uh, throw some, uh, some of that uh, on this uh, on this one too it's like another um, Vallejo uh, color uh, some kind of it's a very strong very heavy wash kind of thing and that's called smoke and I think because this um, this is of course a launching platform and yeah well <laughs> rockets get launched from it so you'd expect that there's a lot of uh, wear and tear and damage from uh, from the blast every time a, a rocket would take off and I think maybe the Vallejo smoke could make uh, could have a nice effect uh, for that I have to be a bit yeah, careful, a bit subtle with uh, Vallejo smoke because it's a very, 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 etc. strong color. Like a tiny amount will get you like a tremendous color intensity. What I'm doing now, by the way, this is uh, dry dish soap, so I'm activating it that a bit. And what will happen is when I put the smoke uh, uh, the, the, the Vallejo uh, smoke on here and thin it with water then the surface tension will break because of the dish soap and that's something that you would really want otherwise you just get a huge big layer of this very strong uh, yeah pigment and like this it's now like a wash and I don't know if it's visible because my palette is of course a bit messy as well but um, if you thin it and if you use like the the, the, the dishing soap as a, a surface tension breaker then this Vallejo smoke turns into some sort of grimy brown mud 
and I'm just going to apply it here on this thing like here near the footplates as you can see it's indeed a very very strong color I really gotta be a bit subtle about it I will uh, re-highlight these um, uh, these parts uh, by the way because the, the wash is way too heavy at this point meanwhile I've uh, taken this uh, the, the missile uh, step further I uh, painted it uh, with a layer of gloss and I did a pin wash uh, over the panel lines so the panel lines are a bit more pronounced now here I did forget to film it though so you just have to believe me that I did a panel wash here and basically this thing just needs to need, needs a coat of uh, of matte varnish and then I would consider the the V2 uh, finished of course there wouldn't be much wear and tear on a missile because it's uh, like a one shot thing so there's just a little bit of yeah a couple of accents, some panel line uh, wash and that's about it and just uh, a coat of matte to knock back the shine a bit just added some white to the camo yellow and I'm adding some highlights here just to give it just a little bit of extra shape Zip. Ooh, that's a bit much. I got some uh, chalk powder here. Dark brown. And I'm just going to make a couple of streaks here on the on the pad. I really couldn't find any photographs of um, yeah, how the pad would look right after launch and I can imagine that there would be some damage done to it by the, the, the jet. I gather these pads wouldn't be painted with uh, uh, most vulnerable types of paint well <laughs> they knew what they were going to use them for I just streak a bit of this brown chalk powder for effect let's see if it's uh, visible like so <laughs> which gives a bit of a yeah as if there's been a Blast. I don't know the amount of uh, dirt or uh, damage that would be sustained by uh, by the launching pad from the, the the heat of the jet. So I'm just kind of winging it, and that's about it. One launching pad here. And the missile. I've kept it pretty basic. There's the missile. Done. With hardly any weathering. Tried to place the rocket on it, but yeah, it's not a, it's not a toy or something. But yeah, <laughs> to prevent this from happening, maybe I'll uh, I'll glue it to the base. So there you have it. I hope you liked this little build project and uh, until the next one.